Hi, good morning, everyone. 11 o'clock here in South Africa and from everywhere where you are calling in from around the world. Welcome to today's open day event with myself and Marius. Going to look through a little bit of what's happening in the market. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good day. Good day to everybody. We're going to give it another minute for the people to join in. Now, there has been a lot of registrations and people wanting to partake in this crypto season that we're in at the moment. We've had enough of, enough of the bear, bear market, eh, Marius? <laughs> totally. I tell you what, it's, it's time that we start moving up. Um, but for, for all new people that's, that's here, even though that the market was in a downwards market, and that's the beauty of what we do in all the different products at Bitcoin Trend and Forecast is we catch cycles and, and every product is different for the kind of niche where a trader can find himself in. We still made money last year within a down market with all up cycles, all cycles. We predominantly, if you go back to reports, caught prices in lower areas where the market or the coins will actually outperform uh, Bitcoin and relatively you know, quite substantial gains. We've had 50, 60, 80% gains in a downwards market last year as well. So one should, never, one should never be despondent with a bear market, but it's rather taking advantage of the opportunities that's presented to you. That's That's really the key. A trick with any sort of investment and the sooner people will realize that's not going to change ever markets will always go up and markets will always go down go look at the stock market since the 1900s they've had corrections 20 30 40 percent but it always come back we're going to look at charts and and if you look at the chart from bitcoin where it started eh, marius in 2011 2010 I mean, that's a, a, a penny stock back in the day. That's incredible. So let's get going. As people join, we will also, this webinar is also recorded. So people can go watch the webinar afterwards. So welcome to everyone that's on the call today, where we trade with smart money. We call this webinar Trading with Smart Money because we need to know where the market is going before it moves. And with a combination of Marius's algorithmic data, we can really determine in a time period where the market is going to move into a next cycle. And here we've got Marius going to quickly share. Thanks for that, Marius. On his Yeah, chart. sure. I'll, I can quickly share that because I think this is important data. Absolutely. Now, um, as you can remember, Ines, you know, right from the top, you know, in 2021, we had the pullback. And that was uh, also at the point when Bitcoin was around about 69, 70,000. So if you compare the left hand side of the chart, compare it now with the Bitcoin chart on the right hand side. And you and I, we've been riding this wave downwards the whole time and all our members. We caught a little bit late onto this pattern, but eventually we did get it. Now, keep in mind that this, uh, which is called the number 13 mastery pattern, is kind of the patterns that we give you. You get it. So we've just taken out what comes next, but our members already know. They know what happens next. So you don't trade with, uh, without knowing what is more or less going to happen. And then if you use our indicators, the buy and sell tags that Ines puts in the MTT reports, your, your levels where you exit, you, you just cannot go wrong. You have to make profit. Number one, trade, secret, take profit. It's not, it's not difficult. Now, if you compare the left where you can see we came down a W, a X, and a Y, we came down in Bitcoin, a W, a X, and a Y. Now, it was very difficult on the bottom to find that bottom. And remember, we said, we said it's going to be difficult to know exactly where the bottom is until Bitcoin definitively turns around. Bitcoin has now turned around. But don't be too greedy at the moment, you know? Don't be too greedy. If you know what's going to come next, have a look in the MTT reports. We know what's going to come next. So the cycle now is still a little bit upwards. It's going to go upwards, but you can clearly see in us how that has played out perfectly. 
Now, one big difference between the left and the right hand side is a time difference, guys. Time. We have to be extremely patient trading this market right now at this time. So with that said, uh, over to you there, Ines, and then I'd like to hear what you want to say. Thanks. Great stuff. We quickly share this chart again. So we can see on a, this is on a daily, but let's quickly look at a weekly basis. Look at all these greens to the upside. There's so many coins that we follow in our report that's part of this crypto bubbles that we that we see this is the top 100 we look at axs there we had I, icp we had filecoin mana as part of our report near um so many egld coins that is moving sand we caught from a very low base link in the last week 18 percent where we're going to discuss link as well because i do like looking at the fundamentals of projects coins that also survived through this downwards market and that continued to build. But as Marius mentioned, look at the greed. It's always important to secure profits, have your straight trading strategy in place, and just follow the reports that we provide because I always give target levels, good, safer re entry levels, but getting to a greed phase, listen, and this can remain in higher inflated levels for some time. Because if we see certain levels crack in Bitcoin, which I'm going to quickly show you. Uh, what we're looking at for the next phase, it can remain in this area, exactly where we were in the fear stage last year. It was for months, 20. I believe the lowest came down to 18 to 16. And let's quickly actually have a look on a year basis because that's the times the lower areas is where you want to start and accumulate, accumulate prices into good projects. Because we know as cycle and psychology works in markets, because prices are driven by people and the fear and greed of people, how they react to their portfolios and money going up and down. And now we know we're getting into higher levels again. But these are times then to secure profits because it may go up higher. We've got those levels. Or if it comes back, it's opportunities to buy. I've mentioned this from the start in actually from last year but yeah from last year it was middle of the last year when I started looking at cycles going into the next halvening where you can go back to reports and webinars I said I reckon the downwards level of the market is going to come in November to December and so and behold it 100% played out like that uh, Morris brought out his mastery pattern that we started to track and it coincide perfectly so for all the new people that's on this call is we part of a group of bitcoin trend and forecast bitcointaf.com and mtt is one of the products that is that started really last year we rebranded from another uh, company what which was small cap gains into mtt medium term trade reports uh, where we look at the swing trades of a market, where we really want to ride those waves in a cycle, a medium or small to medium term time frame from a seven to 45 day cycle. It can go a little bit longer because sometimes we need some patience where we're going to add to positions and we hold and we secure. And you know, the risk to reward is higher, but you can also go here to crypto news. Uh, I've written a few nice blogs Regarding swing trading, you can go have a look, your success, our success. There's a few nice blogs that I've written regarding the strategies and how we implement swing trading within MTT and the benefits of it. Now, I'm going to quickly pop this link because that's important for everyone. And it's valid until the end of this month. It's a link where you can get on a six-month membership, 30 days extra. And on a year membership you get extra 60 days and for anyone that take advantage of this will be able let me just quickly paste this link in there will be able to have this option as part of their membership for life so you're always going to have that benefit of paying for six months and get seven months and 12 months for 14 months any current members that's going to watch this also they can extend it and also have this part of the membership recurring basis going forward. 
So on MTT, it's we say it's all you need to increase your crypto portfolio. I'm not going to go through everything again because I've touched a lot on it in the last in the last few months. And there's other videos that you can go and have a look at. But myself and Marius run the team for MTT with these algorithmic data and analysis. And we look at previous coins. These coins are trading now much higher. Ocean, where we had our T3 target, perfect examples of swing trades where we have a relative safer buy entry zone and literally the price is just weak past. But now what happens after this area? Where do you add to positions? Where's the next phase where you're going to take profit, where these coins are going to go? And that's what we at Bitcoin Trend and Forecast do is to be a guidance in this market to show regarding our technical expertise, what price may do next. Now, these are some of the reports that we write on a weekly basis. The new report is coming out today with updated information, with the new price targets and new coins that we're actually going to follow. I'm going to show you one or two today as well, which is going to go into the report. It's not going to have all the data in there, uh, but you will have it once you actually uh, become part of our group. Now, this is something very interesting, is that the crypto network, Bitcoin, because so many people are doubting crypto and Bitcoin. I even saw a tweet again, it was in this, in this week, from Charlie Munger, a good old friend from Warren Buffett, that says crypto is a scam. Uh, and they probably just part of the older generation that that don't, and they're clever guys. Obviously, they, they're part of the uh, wealthiest people in the world. But to not see the future of what this technology is going to do in the world, because it's going to shape it in many technological aspects of what we're going to see. And probably not a lot of people grasp it just yet. But look at the Bitcoin strength, irrespective of price. Price is that black line and the blue is the Bitcoin hash rate mining um, of the network. And it's just continued, continuing to make higher highs, specifically with this rally uh, that's that started now. And I call it the automatic rally in a wake of accumulation phase that we came down from these highs within November 2021. There we go. So the network of crypto and or, or Bitcoin per se is very strong. And then yeah, you know, let's just look at this one quickly as well. If you see for all new buyers that bought in low prices for Bitcoin, they mostly all in profits. And there's other charts that show where the whales started to accumulate again from the ranges of 15 and a half, 15, eight towards $16,000. So we look at all this fundamental and on-chain data as well to point us in these directions. So these guys are really positioned well for the next cycle. But where do we go into the next cycle? Are we going to go to all-time highs just now? Are we going to accumulate longer? What's the technical basis telling you? And that's what we look on a day-by-day, week-by-week basis. So currently, the price is at a very, very key resistance line at 25,225. I've had that line in there for a very long time. And you can see it's being tested. Now, the reason why that price point is so important is if you go back here before, I believe this was the lunar collapse. We've had the three arrows capital and all the previous collapses. This previous one was the FTX collapse right here in November last year. But with the measured moves that we've had right here with a bear flag, that was a total drop of 45%. The measured move from that top be, uh, to the low right here on the 17th, 18th of June was another 45%. And it reached targets. You can see the long time we've traded in this range, really giving us a, a difficult market. But in these times, we also had opportunities to ride coins higher. You just need to take risk management into account. But now coming to these levels where we are currently trading, is these are the areas, and that's what I use 
part of my analysis is time pivots and cycles is when we came to the 6th and the 11th of January. That's really the time point when the market started to run to the upside. And this whole region was in November to December when we said, listen, we reckon the bottom of the market is in. Now we're trading at this top end range, 225, 225. And for the first time, look at this. Since we broke it, we sliced through with that lunar collapse. The first retest was exactly at that point. So it, it's an area of significance where the what everyone's eyes are on currently in institutional investors and retail waiting for this level to turn into a support. Now, if you look at a weekly time frame, and this is not the greatest picture, it's not high quality on a Wyckoff pattern, is on a 200-day moving average, that's also the line where on a weekly time frame where Bitcoin is finding resistance. And interestingly enough, on a daily time frame, we had the bull cross, golden cross, now, but now on a weekly time frame for the first time ever in the history of Bitcoin, if you zoom out, you've never had a death cross, as they call it, in Bitcoin. So every time it came close, and then it reversed to the upside, came very closer, reversed to the upside. So the 200 moving average is a very important weekly moving price indicating where we are currently in the cycle. And we broke down for the first time in the history in Bitcoin on the 13th of June, that retest of 25. And now we're finding ourselves right at that front again. So, but my analysis does point that we are going to go up within the cycle. Everything on the Ichimoku cloud is uh, turning into a bullish fashion. We had the retest at 21.5, and we can have a look at the other chart now as well, where we saw the this leg a really good, about 10 10% move to the upside. Now, if we can break and clear this, the first technical target is going to be at 27.38 to approximately 28. And I've got higher targets for that as well, uh, going into the next few weeks or months for Bitcoin. Any retest and while we remain above this 21,500, which was this previous support of the retest of this uh, breakout trend line, is a very good indicator for us that the market is still strong. And we've seen the market go up in a straight line. It can definitely do something like that again, catch people off guard. And but coming back downwards for me would also be normal in market behavior because currently we continue to make higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, and the lows are also coming in higher. So any pullbacks for me in this market is opportunities to buy and add to positions. And that's where it's then important to take advantage of what is being presented to you in this market because we've already seen from a minimum of 50 60 up to 500 percent there was another coin matrix man matrix ai uh, something in that regard what some that one of our members actually asked us which went up close to a thousand percent so these coins are ready to rocket and when we get a close above this be sure, remember on this webinar, you want to partake in cryptos. There's no other asset class in this world that's going to give you the volatility, which can be to the downside as well. But being on the right side of the market to move upwards is where we are going to benefit. And with proper risk management, ensure that you take your profits and you get out. Because we're not just going to go up in one straight line and go to $100,000. It just doesn't work that way. The market maker will not let that happen. You're going to have upside, upsides, down, resistance, support levels. And that's where we come and analyze this. Where is the next technical areas to get in and have fun in the market? Now, I've also developed a Fibonacci circle uh, course that people can, can go and take advantage of 
for educational purposes. If you go to products, there's courses, you can, can go to filter and you go to the, there you go, Fibonacci circle course. Now that course is now going to also be adopted and added lessons where we're going to teach not only FIB circles and FIB channel sets in there, but also the FIB retracement tools. We're going to amend about extra two to three lessons in this, but go and have a look at the introduction. It's really vital because you want to, for yourself, go and determine where are safer. Look at this. Look at this beautiful 1.618 support, support all the way to the upside. Then you had the resistance levels. Once that broke to the downside, the bottom part was the next on the 2618 support levels. Once that didn't break, and I saw that's holding, 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 and part of the, the halvening cycle and all the time cycles and the four-year cycle for, for that crypto is in, indicated that this is now the new low for us to move to the upside. Came down or to the upside perfectly with this ring. Look at how that ring acted as support on the outside, and now we're moving up. I've got macro circles in here, trend lines, trend line analysis is being taught there, and upper resistance targets as well. And you can really fine tune into a five minute if you start using a specific um, other tools within this, which is really fascinating how it's being respected. All right. So now what we need to now look at is some prices that moved up tremendously within those results that I showed in the presentation. So we had the buy zones right here in December. You can go back all the way back in December, had the fake out, and they, then we had the expansion phase to the upside. Now, it broke through. We had a re-entry level, and anyone in our reports and MTT data is, again, up 23%. So if you took profits, you come down, down to lower re-entry levels, and we add two positions. So AXS, really beautiful hold. Now, one word that we also had was Filecoin. It was a little bit more stagnant for a while, but then they came out with this news because Filecoin, one of the biggest storage coins in crypto for decentralized storage, announced that they want to now go into a fully-fledged L1, where it's going to be competition for Ethereum as well. And with that news that came out, look at this. Filecoin, which is already at number 25, within the last seven days, went up 71%. And look at this. This was the area of a buy zone for since really the 22nd of January. So when other coins already started to move, they at 200, 100, look at FTM, GRT, some of these other coins that shot up tremendously. And we said, listen, some of those coins, you start to take profits and you go into strong other allocated coins with good fundamentals and you start accumulating the DCA strategy. And if you are not allocated correctly in coins, you miss these rides to the upside. The technical target was at this first key level. It literally shot through and now starting to turn these levels into the new support. And the cycle for uh, Filecoin is yet to start. If all the data is correct, what we're going to see in the Bitcoin cycle and in the next coming few months, the upside for Filecoin can be really a lot higher. Uh, and that's one that I'm going to start to track again now that we've reached one, one specific technical aspect that's been performing very well. Now, the next one, Link, shot up. It's the biggest Oracle data uh, network also within cryptos. Crypto cannot really function without Chainlink. So Chainlink isn't going to go anywhere. Now, they recently announced this was, um, that was last year, but they announced that they got this person, a uh, Google vet, uh, key, key mole, L, uh, old Facebook and Google veteran involved that they want to get into the AI space as well. And we had the re-entry. The buy zones was in this whole region. Because I'm telling you, from a long-term perspective in Link, these are excellent buy or DCA levels within this coin. Over the coming two years, if you don't trade swing trading or day trading, 
adding link to a long-term portfolio view, I do not reckon it's going to remain sub $10. Um, and I do see and foresee much higher targets for link. And this was the re-entry level. The re-entry week there in there gave a few, really one or two days, but you DCA into these regions. And then the price already shot up again 25%. But now we add a very key. You can see this level has been tested quite a few times. And if we can break this cycle, similar to Filecoin, we had key technical resistance levels, key technical levels. And once we can turn this into proper support, anyway, as I said, uh, dips are for buying opportunities within the cycle where we are currently. Unless Bitcoin breaks 21.5, if that happens and we start to track lower, I'll be the first one to notify the members. Rather have your stop losses in place and we can always buy back lower. Uh, so that's how we track and trade this market. Comp was another one. I had comp here in a buy zone area for a very long time. It shot up, said the technical target is about 92%. No in, um, technical levels, what I usually give with specific trades at T1, T2, T3, because I was very confident that the upper target is going to be met. Because sometimes you just want to buy, leave it for the cycle, because I know the cycle that we're in, and we had two opportunities. Look at that. It reached the target right here previously, 94. and But that was really the week I was waiting for. It wicked up about 100%, and now we're back into trading in this range. So I can show you guys today, once we break and close above, this whole trading range for me is a buying opportunity for dips to the low side. But once we break above, the next level is at about $77. And comp still looks really good for me on that technical perspective. And another one that I'm going to show you guys is Arweave. There's, there's beautiful targets that I have, but I've taken that out now because I want you guys to come and benefit with us. And the buy zone levels came in right here at about $10, and now we're in a re-entry phase. So all we for me also looks very promising. And now if you go back to the previous webinar or open day that I've had at the end of January, go and have a look there. This was the buy zone that I had for Zen. It moved up, reached targets, and now trading at about 39% higher. So that was also one that lagged into February. So if you took profits in other great coins, this is one where we rotate profits from one coin to another. And it's always going to be that way. We find the next coins that's going to move. So Zen Horizon was another one. And Mina as well. Look at Mina. On that day, it shot up already. Re-entry phase. And there's an additional technical target that I'm showing you guys today which is also going to be updated in our MTT community. It can go up 128%. So we're going to look again, either if you had your re-entry in these levels, where I said consolidating above T1 or 75, 76 cents, these are the targets that we're going to see next. And there's really a number of them uh, at the top. We've got Ocean, Dent, Rune, GMT, but... Uh, I think that's really enough said for the day that you can get a good idea of what we do in MTT. And I reckon the swing trading style within the cycle, holding on and seeing those profits just grow within the account. And one of the top coins was also Remark, went up close to 500%. So we're always on the lookout for these upside momentum targets where you consolidate in a fashion and you have the price expansion. You consolidate, re-entries. If it breaks specific levels, we come down and we hunt for the lower re-entry levels. And we always trade on patterns. Mostly and predominantly a, a chart price will set up specific patterns. And with time cycles and Ichimoku, you can really find the lower re-entry levels with those patterns. A lot of times the technical aspect will precede the fundamentals so you can see where a price is setting up for a move to come and then all of a sudden you will have fundamentals 
that comes out and it just accelerates that price. And if you're not positioned correctly, you're just going to be left behind. Exactly what happened with Filecoin. I do reckon a lot of people was just waiting. It was boring, not a lot of action. And then with all of a sudden, some news announcements comes out. But we know price was setting up a beautiful structure uh, for it to move higher. That's why how we can predict these swing swing trading. And this is only the start for Falcon, I must say. So the market for me is looking good. There's specific patterns that I'm looking at for Bitcoin. Should that 25200 remain a key resistance for the next week or two, which is also fine because it needs to build a next base. Bitcoin, if you look at this on a relative basis, I mean, the price shot up 50%. 50% in the last, what was that, since the 5th of January. So it's a little bit more than a month and a half. It's good for, for the price just to accumulate sideways. And sometimes when that happens, the liquidity now can go and flow into other coins that's not run as hard and fast just yet. So it's it's really important to take all these aspects into account. And you can see the technical target for this was reached. We had the falling wedge. And since we broke out 100% on that pivot date, go look back in January, I mentioned. The 14th of February is a very key pivot for all markets. And technical target was reached. And now we're waiting for that next macro timeframe target that I've got a really good idea that's going to form for us to proceed to the upside. And part of this automatic rally going into the next few months, I do reckon we're going to have repeat cycles of what we've seen since January. So it's really exciting time period to be in cryptos and going into the next two, two and a half years with not only MTT, but within this cycle and new coins that's going to come out as well. Uh, there was one listed the other day, Blur, new NFT marketplace, got a lot of hype in, in Twitter. And I do reckon we're going to still see good stuff coming from new projects, new innovations uh, that wants to disrupt other uh, technologies. And we need to be in, in the front seat all the time to make sure that we, we can capitalize on, on these movements. So also there's a broadening pattern forming for Bitcoin, but yeah, I need to stop because I can continue for hours on this. This is really a passion for, for me. And I'm really looking forward to see our MTT community to grow. And yeah, the best thing is just to take advantage of this offer that we have at the moment for the six and the 12 months. I think that's really uh, excellent value for what you're going to receive and have return on your investment over the next 12 to two years within this crypto cycle. So that's really all in a nutshell from my side at the moment. And yeah, I think in, in cryptos, it's, it's a very exciting, evolving space. How can you not love this space? It's a, it's a period in time where when we had the tech stocks, that boomed, but the cycles was a lot more longer and dragged out, where everything is now crammed up into a higher tech space in cryptos with all these technology companies that is just moving a lot faster. And that's where we can really make those gains that we haven't been able and fortunate to do back in the days when uh, I was still in school with a dot-com bubble, so I didn't <laughs> money to allocate to coins. Uh, I, do, I wasn't privileged to buy property in the 1970s and 80s, where a lot of people has made substantial money globally and specifically in South Africa as well. So for me, this is the next phase of a disruptive world in a technology basis. And we've seen what ChatGPT has now done. It literally, it's, it's happening in front of our eyes. This is the biggest change in technology that we've had since I believe the pod or the Apple phone was released in, in the 2000s by Steve Jobs. If you go have a look at Microsoft's presentation on chat GPT, what they're going to implement it with Bing, I must say good luck to Google, the famous Google, 
are going to have a very hard time um, in the coming years. And that can happen to any, any other technology as well. So listen, thanks everyone for tuning in today. Any Anything from you, Marius? I think you basically said it all, you know, fantastic presentation, but thank you very much. Excellent. Thanks, everyone. We'll catch up soon and all the best and look out for our open day that we'll have most probably again in March. It's time to build. It's time to bring in those families and friends and let's trade cryptos to the upsides. Keep okay. well. Awesome. Thank you. Bye.